What's up, people? Orsa Chorus here, coming at you with another Paragon deck build. Today, we're going to be looking at Fang Mao. I'm liking Fang Mao in this new uh, update, you know, the Monolith map, because he seems to be dominating right now. Um, he's a very versatile hero, and it's really showing here. But let's go ahead and uh, let's get into the deck build. I'm not going to just rant. All right, so we start off with the Warlord, which gives him 60 power, 100% damage bonus, which is always good. Fang Mao is that assassin type character. You want him to hit hard. Um, the consumable is really simple. I go health potion, scout war, strike token. Change this up if you feel that you have something more viable, but this seems to be working for me at the moment. Now, as we get into the actual deck, um, feel free to change anything you want, but this is what I'm building right now. So my first three cards, the ones that I throw away later, are Madstone's Gems. So they start off with, uh, or they give you 12 power and 5.5 attack speed once you fully upgrade it. I like this because, <clears throat> because I care about the, the damage more so than the attack speed, but it is good to have that attack speed. But I go with this because it gives you 12 power and then with um, the three minor strikes, that has me looking pretty good. So I do three of those, I build them all the same. So that gives me a nice spike in a damage early game, especially if I can get a gank or two early on, I can really start building faster than the enemy team. And this is how uh, I found that it's easy to steamroll with a uh, Fang Mao. But if you find something that might be better, you might want to build health or something. Um, I do this, high risk, high reward. And it seems to be working out for me because he has an escape and the conversion shield, so I don't really die. Now I'm gonna look at the deck proper. This isn't in any particular order, so make sure to build however you feel necessary, because I, I, I would never build Lifesteal first, but uh, Brand of the Iron Eater is first on the list, so we're gonna look at it. So Brand of the Iron Eater, 4% crit, five Lifesteal, 2.7 life Lifesteal once you fully upgrade it. And I equip this with the um, two Greater Drains and a Drain. So that gives me a decent Lifesteal right there. Um, and here's one thing that I learned when, uh, you know, around mid games, once I finally do get this equipped and depending on how I build, it might be a little later, but once I get branded the iron eater, the Raptor caps, easy peasy with your conversion shield, plus the life steal, you can solo the, um, the Raptor caps, no problem. So just keep that in mind. Life steal is viable again, but, uh, build how you want. Um, do, 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 Brawler's Ward. I, I'm back to putting wars in my deck. Um, I say this all the time, I used to say it back in Legacy, make sure to keep a ward. You want to keep wards in your deck, you don't want to be caught out, especially not in Monolith, because once you're caught, you're caught, especially, unless you have an escape and you're running. But um, the Brawler's Ward, 6 power, uh, 30 mana, then I do 2 ma uh, minor casts for that power, and then a basic mana. And uh, I don't really need mana on him, but this right here will take care of all your mana needs. Mana is not really a big deal with Fang Mao, he's like Greystone in a way. Um, so Impact Hammer, I like this card. Uh, 12 power, 4% crit, 4% crit once you fully upgrade it. I equip that with two major strikes and a wound. So it gives me a good crit chance going and I get some damage rolling. I have another one. I build it exactly the same. Major strikes, wound. And then Rust Breaker. Now I might take this card out because people aren't really building armor, but I keep it in there just to cut through the basic armor. So uh, Rust Breaker, 12 power for a basic pin, so for my auto attacks, and then 6 power, and I equip that with 2 strikes, and then a pierce, that gives me 8 penetration, 8 basic pin, so that gives you 12 total, and honestly, I think, I think that's enough, I wouldn't build more than 12, really, because nobody's building armor right now. And then the last card, I go with the Blast Harness, um, the only reason I build this card is for the 100% crit bonus. So 5.5 5, 5 attack speed, 100% crit bonus, and then I equipped it with three attack speed cards. And that uh, rounds out the deck. And right now, this is working pretty well for me. He does good damage, has a decent attack speed, his crits are on hit. So this is how I'm building Fang Mao right now. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know if you try it out. Let me know how it works for you, because I know some people try out the decks, but I never hear back. So I want to know, give me some feedback. Let me know if it's good, if there's something you would change, because I'm always interested. Also, let me know how you're liking Monolith, because it's been a while now. I ask this every video, but it's been a while. We, we're all kind of into it now. Let me know what you think of Monolith. Are you loving it? Are you hating it? Let me know. Anyway, people, that's all I got for Fang Mao. Let me know what you think. 
make sure to like, subscribe, share the video out think somebody else would appreciate or find a video useful. Anyway, people, this is Orson Course. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.